She was free girl. But they were saying they didn't like how foggy it looks and I can see it. Rip me out of plastic, I've been adding brand new. Ooh, this is too dark. Mix it, mix it, mix it. I gotta find a freaking outfit for the Beyonce concert. Just a moment. Okay. Thank you. I did a um, venti ice matcha with um, white mocha. Venti ice matcha, we're adding white mocha. And that should be it. Awesome. It's going to be 684. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Got my drink for free, y'all. For free. Because I had enough stars, so. She was free girl. So I'm running to the bank really quick. I uh, just wanted to get me something to drink. I didn't really want coffee, so I decided on getting my matcha instead. But happy, what's today? Monday, oh my gosh, happy Monday. I feel like I started the vlog off last week on a Monday. Actually, no, I did not because I was cleaning up and that was like, I think over the weekend. But anyway, happy Monday. Um, I don't know when my voice is gonna be back to normal because I am always, I feel like I'm still nasally. Like what is going on? Um, but I feel fine. But yeah, so. I'm going to open up, finally open up the PR packages. I have my AC on, so y'all can y'all probably hear that. But I'm finally gonna open up my PR packages when I get home. And I'll film that in the haul. Well, in the vlog. Um, and then I am what else am I gonna do? want to put makeup on I don't really want to film a makeup get ready with me uh, so I'll just probably just do light work today just light work unboxing I'll probably film that too like on a um I'll probably film the little unboxing on TikTok too so do like two different things for the vlog and also for TikTok This is really good today. I like when it's good and free. <laughs> oh yeah, the LTK blunt, uh, the blunch. LTK brunch was so nice. Um, it was at apartment 40, apartment 4B in Atlanta. And it's crazy because I was kind of lost when I got there. Like my GPS told me to keep straight when really I was supposed to turn. And it's kind of ducked off. Um, but that was my first time going to that place and it's really nice really nice inside i had the french toast when they brought it out it looked like chocolate cake it literally looked like chocolate cake i was like uh is this what i picked but it was actually really good the syrup was not that good though i did it tasted like apple it wasn't like like your typical maple syrup um it just tasted like I don't know apple citrusy i didn't really care for it but you definitely don't need to put syrup on that if you are going to um order their french toasts but the vibes were good the girls were really nice friendly um and it was a vibe it was a vibe but i had fun good way to network so yeah. Alright, I am at the bank. I will talk to y'all later on. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Okay, we made it home. I brought my tripods down here and my camera. I'm about to sit right there, open up all these packages. Y'all, I saw I got a co-sauce package and I'm gonna be a so mad well i'm not gonna be mad because i can just take it back to sephora but hold on let me turn the tv down i uh, um just got their new brow pencil i just purchased it at sephora 
the other week. So I'm wondering if that's what's in there. But I don't know. We have a ton of packages to go through. Look at this. And yeah, I don't know why I just haven't been opening them once I get them. But I let it pile up. And I usually don't do that. But yeah. And I'm going to turn my vlog camera on so we can sit here in the corner. And open up these boxes. I'm going to try to clean as I go. We'll see how that goes. Let's open the cold sauce box first and see what is in it. Pretty heavy, so ooh, we got some goodies, girl. Oops, Marty dropping the stuff. We got the beauty sponge. Never tried their sponge before. I have the airbrow. Ooh, is this the shade? Oh, this is the clear one, which I like. I have, ooh, I've been wanting to try this out. This is the Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. What shade did they send me? Hmm. Sheer, teep dan she sheer Deep Tan. I hope this cup, ooh, it busted. Dang. It's all in the box, too. I'm glad it didn't get anywhere else, but the color looks looks like it'll work. I hate that it busted though. Um, oh, you know what I should do? I should grab like a a separate bag or a box to throw all the products in that I'm gonna try out. Yeah, let me go grab something. I just got this Amazon box. I'm gonna throw the stuff that I open up in there. So I already have the clear Coast Sauce brow gel, so I'm gonna. Oh, uh, I should have grabbed something else. So put like stuff in a giveaway pile. For now, I'm gonna use this Coast Sauce box, but I already have that clear one, so I'm gonna put it in a giveaway. I'm gonna keep the sponge. I have the brow pop okay this is the original one but the new one is like really really skinny and it's smaller it's the brow pop nano that's their new one but this is their original one which i really really like what color is this and i don't have this anymore so i think this is dark brown dark brown yes so keeping that we're gonna try out the glow ivy um, the, ooh, this is their foundation, the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation, and they sent me medium deep. Okay, this looks pretty light. Oh, no, girl. This looks light. That's not going to work. Oh, I have another one. Medium deep. Wait, these are the same shades. Oh, no, no, no. Medium Deep Warm 350 is the one that I just opened. And then this one is Medium Deep Neutral Warm 340. So I'm assuming this is going to be lighter than... Dang. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is lighter. Dang. We can't try this, y'all, because it's too light. Dang it, dang it, dang it. What else we got? Oh, the Dream Beam. I already have this, so I'm going to put this in a giveaway. Um, this is their sunscreen. Put that in here. Um, oh, the Bake Setting Powder in the shade Softly. Is this the shade that I use? I can't remember, but I have the little mini one. So since I have that one, I'm going <laughs> to put that in a giveaway. Um... Air Brow. This one's the tinted one in the shade Brown Black, which I already have. So this is also going in a giveaway. Um, ooh, I've been wanting to try this. This is their Moisturizing Lip Shine in the shade Neutral Rosy B. 
beige. This is how it looks. Okay, she's cute. I'm gonna save this. And we have the, are these our concealers? Yep, the Super Creamy Brightening Concealer in the shade Medium Deep, no, shade 7N. I was just reading the description. I tried this concealer out when they first came out with it. This was a couple years ago, um, but I forgot how I liked it. So we're going to try it out again. Uh, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this is 7.5. I'm assuming this is the shade that I tried a while back. Yeah, this one. So, totally forgot how it wears. So we're going to keep it. And then the lighter shade. I'm actually going to keep the lighter shade too because I might can use that. But everything else that I am not keeping, which are these products, I'm going to keep it in this box. And we, for now, we're going to set this to the side and whatever else I find that I want to give away, I'll just throw it in that box. We have, what is this? Revlon, girl. I think, because usually they're tape. Yeah, Revlon. What did they send? Ooh, are these brushes? Are these brushes? Oh. It's just a lot of goodies. What's in here? Okay, this feels like some sunglasses, girl. Are these sunglasses? <gasps> they are. Oh, look how cute these are. Wait. Oh, these are cute. We have this little mirror. How cute is this? And there's like a mirror on the back. Cute. And then we have some. They always send these. I already have, <laughs> I already have some of these. So I'm going to keep, um, put these in a giveaway. These are the liquid eyeliners and they sent several different shades and then i have their micro brow pencil and then the um precision precise gel eyeliner with a smudger now i will say i don't have i don't know if this is going to be too light but i don't have their brow pencil anymore and i think this color ugh. Dang it, this is medium brown. I use dark brown. Dang. Oh well, more for y'all. Let's stuff these boxes. This is, oh, is this a hand? Oh, touch land? What? I saw this little hand. I was like, wait. Yes, touch land? I love their hand sanitizers. I'm always getting them. Yes! Why am I getting so excited about hand sanitizers? They sent me a card that says, hey, hey, Andrew, thank you so much for all the love and support you've shown on Touchland. We hope you enjoy the selection of fruity scents, and we can't wait to see where you take us next. Oh, that is so far away. Y'all, you never know who is watching you. Like, you never know. But look, y'all, we got a lot of different scents. I'm excited. Yes. Because I'm always, always, always buying these freaking hand sanitizers. Ooh. Coconut. What is this? Beach Cocoa. Is this one new? I haven't seen this one before. Well, the scent. I haven't seen this scent before. <gasps> I'm excited. Yes. So I keep one in my car. I keep one in my purse. Girl, I just keep them everywhere because they're just so skinny and they fit everywhere so yeah thank you touch land yes yes y'all y'all know how happy i am to have these so put them in the box that i'm keeping all right another box from revlon this is just how long i've been having these packages pile up because we got back to back revlon <laughs> They said, ooh, they sent a little bag. What's in here? Uh-oh. 
Oh, see, I told y'all they'd be sending like the same. Well, is this the same? Yeah. Well, yeah, this is the same one. This one's just black. The liquid eyeliner. <laughs> they sent over some eyeshadow. It looks like purple eyeshadow. Can y'all see that? It's just purple eyeshadow. I got, well, I haven't tried these before. These are their suede ink lipsticks hold on let's see if I have any other shades in here because I don't like opening stuff that I know I'm not going to use and the sun is going down okay so they sent two shades um let's open these are the two shades that they sent let's open this one this is in the shade no rules what that looks like it just looks like a rose color like a burgundy red rose looking color I'm gonna put that in there we have their oh these are good y'all I don't have this anymore so I'm excited to have it again this is their um it's called the gloss but they're super duper duper juicy and glossy on the lips so I'm glad to have I'm glad they sent the clear so happy about that got that um, oh, this is a good mascara. I haven't used it in a while, but this is really, really good. And they sent over some of their um, gel eye pencils. This is like a navy blue. It looks like a navy blue. Yeah, navy blue. And then this is the black. So, got that. And what else did they send over? Ooh, ooh. Their lip liner in the shade chocolate. Yes. Wait a minute. Is this the same one that I had years ago? Let me see. Oh, I think it is. Yep, it's the same one. But it looks red. And the one that I had years ago looked red. So this is literally the same one. Next, we have... Okay, this doesn't say the brand on the box so what's in here <gasps> Fenty! Ah! Fenty skin! Yeah! <laughs> i'm so annoying i am so annoying but i have been wanting to try these okay so this is the body scrub the new cherry dub triple action aha body scrub and then I have the new super fine face scrub yeah so these boxes have been sitting here for a while girl because um this came out a few weeks ago so yes yes I am excited for these y'all so excited yes 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 if you've already tried these out let us know in the comments how they are are they good are they worth it? Let us know. So I will definitely let y'all know my opinion once I um, try them out. But I'm so happy to have them. Thank you, Missy. Thank you. What's next? This does not have a name on it. Wait, is this something I ordered? I think this is something I ordered. I think. That's sad when I don't know if it's something I ordered or if it's something that somebody sent me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I ordered my first Telfar bag. And I don't know how I feel about it now because I've seen the reviews on this one. And I don't know, I don't know. But, I mean, it's cute. It's cute. Okay, she's cute. Hold on, let me show y'all. Ooh. Why does it smell like that? That's all. What? It smells really strong. But it's a one in collaboration with Melissa. Melissa and Telfar did a collaboration, and I got the mini 
clear tote. She's cute. She's really cute. But they were saying they didn't like how foggy it looks, and I can see it. I can see. Yeah, I can see it. Because I have a few clear handbags, and they're like clear, clear. Like you can see straight through them clear. And this one, it kind of like has like a, a purple blue tint, but it's kind of foggy. And I see what, I wonder if I can just wash it or something. I don't know. But yeah, I've never purchased anything from Telfar. And to be honest with y'all, I don't like their bags. I know some of y'all are going to get onto me for saying that, but I don't really like the bags. Like, I don't like how they look. I don't know. But when they came out with the Melissa collection, I was like, wait, this is so cute. This is adorable. And it's different. It's different from all the other ones that they have. And I definitely wanted to get the clear one because I don't know what it is about me and clear handbags, especially for the summer. But she's cute. She's cute. She's cute. I just have to kind of get over the... I don't know. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, does it not look foggy to y'all? I don't know. See how that looks kind of foggy? But she's so cute. I just wish it was more clear than blue. You know what I mean? Like, I wish the bag was just more like straight up clear, like glass clear. And I think I would love it even more. But it has this weird smell. It smells really strong, like really, really strong. So I'm gonna have to let it air out. But yes, girl, my first Telfie, my first little Telfie and she's clear and she, she's so cute. She's adorbs, adorbs, adorbs. Okay, this looks like ColourPop. What we got from ColourPop, girl? What do we have from Color Pop? It's Love at First Blush. Ooh, these are blushes. Oh, yes. We got some blushes, girl. Look at this color right here. Ooh, did they send me all the shades? <gasps> they did! Yes! Girl, I'm like a kid on Christmas. Ooh, there's like a Barbie pink one, too. It's called Cherry Blossom. Ooh, and the compact is pink. She's cute. Pink is the color, y'all. Oh, this. Oh, these are cream blushes. I didn't know that. I did not know that. These are cream blushes, y'all. Look at that color. She is pretty. Okay, let's see what cherry blossom looks like. This one looks like it's going to be like a pretty baby doll pink. Yep. I hope it shows up though. Look how pretty that is. Hope it shows up. And then the other color that's really standing out to me is Poppy O oh, and Bali Baby. Ooh, let's open those two. Bali Baby. This looks like a nude, like a brown kind of color. I don't know, but it looks cute on the paper. Let's see what it looks like in person. Oh no. This is too light. <laughs> too light, girl. I don't know. Yeah, this is too light. That's not going to show up on me. Yeah, we're going to put her back. We're going to put you back because you ain't, you ain't going to show up. I'm so sorry. You ain't going to show up. The other one is Poppy Sunset Strip. Looks good, too. And TTYL. All right, let's just open them. Open the ones that... I feel like are gonna work for my complexion. So Poppy is like an orange. Mm, this is light too, it looks way lighter on the thing, but it's cute. It's a really pretty coral color. But I feel like it's not gonna be, I don't know. We'll try and see if that works. And then when it don't work, I feel like it just went to waste because I, you know, touch. Well, no, I'm not gonna touch it with my hands, um, so that way I can give it away. Um, the other one was Sunset Strip. 
Okay, this one kind of looks like that NARS blush, that orange NARS blush. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, this does not look... This does not look like um, the color that's on there. This looks like TTYL instead of Sunset Strip. Is this... Yeah. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's pretty. But it looks nothing like the color on the card. And then let me show you what TTYL looks like. This looks like a red, like a deep burgundy red. Oh yeah, this looks really, really close to the color on the card. Pretty cherry red. Oh, this is heavy. What is in here? Oh, what is in this box? Oh, Alani, Alani Nutrition. They be sending stuff, girl. They be sending us some stuff. Last time they sent over some gummy worms, and they are so good. They come in a pink um, bag. They are so freaking good. And they also sent over some um, shakes and energy drinks. I haven't tried the energy drink because some people are saying on TikTok that their energy drinks will have you feeling crazy. So I haven't, I haven't tried them. I don't think I'm gonna try it. I'm, I'm good on that. But the protein shakes, oh, this is the one in collaboration with Kim, um, Kim Kardashian. But anyway, yeah, their protein shakes are really good. The strawberry, uh, strawberries and cream, or is it strawberry shortcake? One of them, but it's really, really good. But what are these? Like, what type of drinks are these? It just doesn't say what it is. It just says Kim Made. Kim Made. Oh, Kim Made. Meet Kim Made Energy. So it is an energy drink. It says a summer's must-have sip featuring a new limited edition flavor created by one of the one created by the one and only Kim Kardashian. So it is a energy drink. It has splashes of sour lemon and tart strawberry. I want to taste it though. So they sent the whole case, the entire case. Real cute. I definitely want to taste one. I'll taste one, but I don't know if I want to just drink it like that. Cause yeah. But, ugh. Where am I gonna put these? I'll put them up here. But yeah, they're gummies are really good and their protein shakes y'all i started watching insecure and i know i'm so late on watching that because that thing came out what two three years ago um but it's on netflix now and i started watching it i do remember turning it on months ago and i i couldn't get into it like i don't know why but for some reason now i'm like into the freaking show like it's so good and i'm only on episode um not episode but i'm on season two right now so if you haven't seen insecure it's on netflix now girl she is on netflix now honestly i think when i first watched it i wasn't paying attention like that to the tv because i have a bad habit of turning stuff on and then getting on my phone and not paying attention to the TV. So that's probably what it is. But now I'm like zoned in. I have my phone sitting beside me or it's just flipped over. And I'm zoned into the TV so that way I can enjoy the show, you know? So, yeah, but that's what I'm watching on Netflix. Not right now, though. I was watching, um, where's the remote? It's this show with Gabrielle Union in it. Uh, the Perfect Find. And I'm like a few minutes into the show, but that's what I'm watching right now. Um, okay, what is in this box? I honestly feel like this unboxing is gonna take up the entire vlog. <laughs> but it'll be long. It'll be a long vlog for y'all and my freaking camera is dying. Dang it, what's in here though? Dr. Brent, what do we have in here? Skincare girl. 
Another sticker. I don't really use a lot of products from Dr. Brandt. What is this? We have the Mo No More Baggage Eye Gel. Oh, they sent this to me already. I got this a while ago. But this is the eye gel. I think they just want to re wanted to re up wanted me to re up on their product. And then the um, Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. Crazy thing is, is I never tried it though. They sent it to me, but I still to this day have not tried it. That's probably them telling me to try it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll try it. I'm gonna put this in the box of products to try. When I wake up in my own pink world, I get up out of bed and, what's the other one? Get up out of bed. When I wake up in my own pink world, I get up out of bed. Something, something. And something to my homegirls. Hey, Barbie. <laughs> when, when, I know this. I know it. When I wake up in my own pink world, I get up out of bed and say hello. Hey, tomorrow. What? Girl, I even made a freaking TikTok on that. I'm going to look at it because it's killing me. I got I to gotta see what it's what what the words oh, hold on hold on hold on Oop, oops when i wake up i get up out of bed away from my home girl hey barbie okay. <laughs> all right y'all we gonna do some more of the unboxing later on in this vlog since the camera is dying and i need to charge the freaking battery so y'all will see the rest of this later on in the vlog <sighs> good morning I think if I finish the packages now, because I think I left off on me unboxing the packages yesterday, because, yeah, I didn't pick up the camera anymore after that. Um, but if I don't do it now, I know I'm not going to get to it today. And I'm going to keep pushing it off. So we're going to sit here and finish up with the unboxing. I showed this on TikTok the other week, but I didn't show y'all. So I wanted to get a new wig. Um, same hair company. I always get the one from Asteria Hair. And I wanted something um, different. Well, not different. I wanted the same hair, but I wanted it to be longer. But I did get a different, um, I guess. Well, the lace is the same. This one is already cut. Like, they already cut the lace. The lace is already bleached and pre-plucked. So, I'm going to wear this to um, the Beyonce concert. And this one is a 24 inch, 26, 24, 26, one of them. But I do know it's longer than what I usually get. I usually get an 18 inch. But girl... She is new. She is fresh. I do feel like I'm going to have to bleach the lace a little bit more because it doesn't even look pre... Like, it don't even look like they bleach the knots because these are, like, very much visible. So, I'm just going to bleach uh, the knots myself, which I usually do when I get these wigs. So, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my hair. My new, my new long hair. Same hair type, well, hair texture. I always get the Brazilian Body Wave. And yeah, if I can find the link, I will link it. But most definitely, I'll link the website. But um, I'll try to find the exact wig. I'll just go to my email and click on it, and it'll take me straight to the page. But I just wanted to show y'all that because I know I haven't shown y'all. I got a box from Anastasia Beverly. Yeah, this is it. Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I think. This is their new mascara. But the box is big, so I'm wondering what else they put in here. But anyway, on today's agenda, I am filming today. I think I'm going to film like I get ready with me today. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the mascara. The Lash Sculpt Mascara, and it comes in this box. This is a fancy box. Look at this, y'all. 
la 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 fancy next we have laura mercier let's see what's in here oh these are their new highlighters yeah these are the liquid highlighters their new liquid highlighters let me show you one This is peach bronze, and then champagne pink, and gold glow. Y'all, we got a package from Skin Fix. Skin Fix, girl. I love, 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 love the acne cleanser, the one that comes in the green tube. And I'm wondering what this is. Adapanoid gel for acne prone skin and oh I've been wanting to try this. This is the skin barrier restoring gel cream and I think this comes in the yeah the little blue container so you just press it down and the product comes out. The lighting is not the best today it is a very gloomy day today but very excited for this and I am so glad that they Stock me up, stock me up on my favorite cleanser. And then this, I haven't tried out the adap adapanoid gel. Let me see what this looks like. Okay, so it comes in a pump, but that's what that looks like. Okay, I think, yeah, I bought this. Matte Cosmetics. Alyssa Ashley has a lip set. And I think this is the one that I purchased. I don't know, because sometimes Mac be sending me PR. So I, I want to say this is what I purchased. Let me open it. Yeah, I purchased this. So I didn't send this. Look at the bag, y'all. So cute. And I don't have any of these shades from MAC. This is just too freaking cute. So cute. Okay, so we have... Yeah, so in here we have three three lip products. We have the matte lipstick in the shade Antique Velvet. A amplified cream lipstick in the shade Fast Play. And then the um, lip gloss in the shade Love Child. I was very excited for the gloss. Really pretty purple. Rosy purple type of color. Um, you know what? I want to put some on right now. I just have on a lip balm. So. Yeah, it's pretty sheer. But it's pretty. really cute yeah, and the lighting is horrible today next we have I don't know who this is from I don't know it doesn't say the brand Ooh, lake and sky I have there <gasps> they sent it Oh man, I was gonna say I have their 1111 perfume. I just have it like in a little roller ball and they sent the full size. This is 1.7 fluid ounce. This smells so, 
so good it's really clean really it's just a fresh everyday clean type of scent but it's not like a subtle clean it's like really strong but so good okay what does this have in here we have Centaur Grey, Midnight, Apre, Apre, and then 11-11. These are just little bitties, little mini travels. Centaur Grey. Oh, this is a body oil? Ooh. Body oil, girl. I haven't smelled any of their other fragrances, but 11-11 good she's really good oh this is nice let me smell this i like that it has the dropper definitely don't want to drop it hold on oh okay Really like it I don't really like it not on me I'm wondering if this is anything like the um, Le Labo Centaur y'all know which one I'm talking about the one from Le Labo that everybody loves I don't have that fragrance and I've never smelled it but I want I'm wondering if this is anything like it um, this is Earthy, kind of masculine. It smells nice for like a a room spray, like something like this is very luxe. Like I don't know, just imagine walking into I don't know Pottery Barn or some really nice store that has a lot of decor, but it has that earthy type of scent in it girl i don't know what i'm saying but yeah it's very earthy and does it have the notes on it a discreet sexiness smooth sandalwood um violet leaf musk and cardamom mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i wonder if they have a body oil in 11 11 because i need that Mm. This doesn't have a name on it either. California Naturals. Hey, friends. Excuse me. Oh, this is the brand, California Naturals. Sorry, y'all. I got... Oh, bourbon. <laughs> We are so stoked to meet you. As the founder of California Naturals, it's been my dream to create good for you daily beauty essentials that work for everyone all under $10. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta see what's all in here. What? Okay, this is a bag. It's like a little um, grocery bag where you can put flowers in it. It's cute, a little tote. We have a hat, <laughs> um, permanent California naturals vacation, permanent vacation. And then it has California naturals right there. We have, oh wow, we got some goodies in here, girl. Daily shampoo. Okay, something leaked. Dang, and it is everywhere. Oh no. But we have their daily, something smells really good too. Whatever leaked over, it smells really good. This is the daily shampoo. <clears throat> oh man it's everywhere the daily conditioner we have ah what is that we have a shampoo and conditioner um oh let me just pull it out this is the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner and then this poppies oh 
Okay, so this is hair care. Yeah, all of this is hair care. Um, hair mask for dry and damaged strands. And then the last thing in here, I think it's like a spray. Sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Leave-in conditioner. Okay. So, I just hate it. Like, leaked out everywhere. All right. This box says it's fragile. Um, what's up, beauty? That's what the brand is on the box. Oh, it's a eyeshadow palette. Oh no, it's not. Oh, these are what are these? It's heavy. Oh, nail polishes. And then this is an eyeshadow palette. And we have mascara. Okay, so this is what's all in here. Oh, you. So this is what's all in there. We have the eyeshadow palette, the nail polishes, and this mascara right here. Two more boxes to open. This is, it doesn't say on this one either. So what is this? Rip it, rip it, rip it. Rip me out of plastic. I've been adding brand new. <laughs> Welcome to Clean Topia, Cover Girl. Okay. Oh man, I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. I have, <clears throat> I just bought the new Clean Topia mascara. And I'm betting it's in here. Here's the box. I bet the. Clean Topia collection is in here. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so here's the mascara, which I already purchased. So I'm gonna save this for a giveaway. And look at this, y'all. I think this is a handbag or like a makeup case. Look at this. This is so cute. It is, it's like a makeup bag. How cute is that? You just put either your brushes in there or if you just want to use it as a clutch, you know? I think this color looks so good with pink. But yeah, how cute is that? The last box for now. Glam Net It, y'all. <gasps> Y'all. So I showed y'all a few of their press-ons that I purchased weeks ago. And I love them. The ones with the gold tip. And they sent me a ton of things. These are so cute though. Really cute. Oh, look at these. Look at, look, look, look. These look really, really cute. So the ones that I got are kind of like this, but they have more of a, a almond shape. And the tip is um, thicker than this, so. These are cute. We got some lashes. Girl, we got everything up in here. Ah! Oh, these are cute. Y'all. Okay, I'm not in love with these. I'm gonna get these, the little lemons. It's cute though, but not for me. And then the little smiley face ones. I'll gift those as well. Oh, these are pretty. Ooh, for the fall. These are so cute. The, oh, these are cute for the summer. Y'all, I did not know that they had this many different styles. The black tips. We have white checkered. We have... Ooh, pearl. Girl, we don't have a time. Ooh, these are, oh, this is pretty. So these are the ones that, well, 
they're not exact. The ones that I purchased look like this, but it's gold. This is green, green and gold. Yeah, that's cute. We have, what are these? Magnetic eyeliner pins. We got um, liquid eyeliner, liquid magnetic eyeliner. What else we got? What else we got? We got a liquid magnetic eyeliner. I'm assuming that other one was brown. No, they're both black. Um, more lashes. We got a lot of lashes in here. Different styles. Different styles. And then this comes with the bond. Oh, a bond remover. And a bond. And a little tweezer. I think that's all that I, oh, these right here, lime green tips with white flowers, and then the blue, um, looks like a marble, but that is nice. Girl, we gonna have a time with these nails. I'm actually just gonna sit here at my computer for a little bit before I um, film, because I need to do a few things on my computer. I have had these mirrors for a while and I kind of want to put them up behind me right here, like behind this, on this wall right here. I'm in the bathroom that I do my hair and um, all that. So, and I got three total. So I kind of want to do like a boom, boom, boom situation. I don't know. Let me at least put one up to see what it looks like. Mm, mm, after I do this, oh, it comes with a strap on it. So maybe not all three, because I didn't. I didn't know it came with a strap. I thought it was, well, I can still hang it up like this. If it has, I'll probably, it'll probably be easier with a strap. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hang these up and then after that, well, after doing that, I'm gonna try to squeeze in a YouTube video, try to do a um, testing product type of video. So, yeah, and then after that, I want to finish opening packages with y'all because yesterday I just got tired, and yeah, so um, I'm gonna finish up doing the unboxing with you guys later on today. But I don't know. Let's let's just see what it looks like with all three of these. Up. I'm gonna do one first, and then we'll see what it looks like. I got these little tags. This is what I be hanging stuff up with because it just makes it easier. I wonder if it'll, that it might be too thick. Oh no, it should be able to hang up on the tag. I should get nails. I really should get some nails instead of using these tags, but we'll see if it works. Let's, let's just try it. So I'm thinking about right here. About right here, and then we'll probably need to raise it up some. About right there. Uh, a little bit higher. About right here, and then the other one kind of on this side over here, and then the third one. Y'all see it? Y'all see what I'm saying? Do y'all see what I'm trying to do? So, boom, one right here. Yeah, let's do the first one right here. Okay, I'll put the tack up there. 
Do we like? It's cute. And then the other one, I have you guys sitting on top of it. The other one. just two and then the little straps on it it's already a lot going on right there so yeah let's do it right here or right here hey, look, can you see I think right here so about right here yeah that's cute okay let me get the little thumbtack Right here. Boom. What do we think? What do we think? I think it's cute. Mm. I think it's cute. And when I'm standing right here, I mean, I'm. Mm, 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 mm. I think it looks good. I mean, it looked better than what it did. So, and then this third one, don't know. Excuse me, don't know what I'm gonna do with this one, cause I mean, what if I put the third one right here? Like right up there, right, oop, right there. I wonder how that would look. I mean, it don't hurt to try, so I'm gonna try to put it right there. It might be a little cricket, so I'm just gonna. I don't have anywhere else to put this, so I'd rather all three hanging up in here. Mm. All right, it might be cricket, y'all. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Do we like this? Is it doing too much? What What is it giving? Let me turn you guys around. What What is it giving? Do we Do we Do we like? What do y'all think? I kind of hung them up pretty good. This one needs to kind of, hold on. Oh. Um. I think this is good enough, y'all. If I had, like, if this thing was longer, I could have my other plant that looks just like that on this side, and then it'll be like, you know, symmetrical, but I don't know, girl. You just let me know what you think. Right now, I'm going to say I'm just going to keep them up there. Um, but let me know if I should just take this one down and maybe put that one over here. Right there. I need to put me a towel right there. But 
y'all just let me know so yeah but I really wanted to hang those up because they just been sitting around for a while and finally got them hung so yeah and they're really light like they're, they're like light as a feather so I don't think they'll fall down I mean they're on there pretty good but Y'all just let me know what I should do. I'm not a good designer <laughs> when it comes down to designing or decorating. So just let me know. But now let me go film my video. Y'all, I think I'm gonna try some different lashes today. I got these um, Kiss Impress Press On Falsies. They're like little bitty singles and I think I want to try them you're supposed to put them on under your lash um so I'm gonna try these and I'm also gonna be trying out this Maybelline Superstay skin tint and the shade I got is 355 this is the shade I use in the Maybelline foundation so hopefully it works but I'm about to plug in my mic <clears throat> film my get ready with me um I might even do like a one hour get ready with me video y'all love those but the thing is i don't know if i have enough products like enough new products to t actually i do i do have enough in here to try out to make it i guess interesting but um yeah i'm about to do that y'all i got another co-sauce box today i wonder what's in there i'm wondering if it's the new brow products because it's pretty skinny like it's long but it's skinny and the box is pink and the brow products like the packaging of the brow products is pink so i don't know but for now let me get this video out the way and then i will be back hey girl i'm about to go out the door but before i head out um i don't know how this is gonna look because the lighting is like so harsh and bright right here uh but i just turn hold on i'm gonna turn this a little bit over here it's all in my face but anyway oh this is too dark oh 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 bear with me girl bear with me anyway um someone commented on my last vlog asking me to do a what fits in my kate spade handbag this is the carrie trunk carry trunk i believe but yeah she wanted to know what fits in it and i'm here to share what fits in it since i'm literally about to head out the door so yeah i'll have this link in the description if y'all want to check it out also side note oh my gosh y'all i am wearing okay i think that video is gonna be up by the by the time this vlog goes up but i've been playing with the lashes y'all them lashes the the uh, kiss impress press on lashes you don't need glue i have been playing with them and i think i got it down pat i put on mascara first and then i put them on i mean it was easy to put them on at first but i was still kind of struggling y'all saw it in the video i think i'm pretty sure the video is gonna be up before but anyway if you didn't see the video go watch it after um this vlog but i've been playing with them girl and i got it down pat so I put some mascara on first and then I press, well, I apply the lashes and they look so freaking good, y'all. So good. We got a little friend coming, but anyway, the lashes look really, really good. And they honestly look like the lashes I've been wearing from Ardell, my Ardell Remy lashes. Anyway, girl. Let me go ahead and show you what fits in my Kate Spade handbag. I have been obsessed with this freaking thing because it also fits my camera, but I'm not taking my camera, but it will fit the camera in here. But the first thing I have is my wallet. And this is just a pink, what was that noise? Anyway, this is just a pink wallet. You can put your cards, your cash, coins whatever and then i have my keys which i don't know why i still have them hooked onto this because i'm taking that wallet but i usually keep my keys on this um 
keychain. This is from Jacques Mousse. I have some hand cream. I also have my mirror that I like to keep in my bag. And then I have this, which I hate I didn't charge it. Um, it's only like 20 something percent. Yeah, 23%. This is for my phone. You know, if my phone goes dead. But my phone is fully charged, so... I'll be good because this is just 20. Plus, I'm not even going to be on my phone like that. What am I talking about? Anyway, I have my hand sanitizer. I have my Thread Beauty gloss. I have on a different gloss today, which I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in my bag. Um, the gloss I'm wearing, I actually brought it in here to show y'all, but this is the just a regular clear gloss. This is the gloss I'm wearing, which I am obsessed with, y'all. It's the Essence Hugs and, let me set you down, girl, because you was in the way. Hugs and Teddies Gloss. And it's kind of wearing off some because I was filming earlier. I want to say I love this gloss, y'all. I love it. Oh, you know one thing I didn't put in here that I need to put in here? My Fenty Mattifying Blotting powder so i need to grab it but i have the net fragrance cocoa floor which is one of my faves i have just a random pen we have some hair rubber bands i said rubber bands in a video and then someone was like why you don't say hair tie i don't know they just they're rubber bands to me it's a rubber band People call them hair ties but anyway got two of those in there and then I just have a random stick of gum but this thing literally holds a lot like it holds a lot if you really need to just pack it with your essentials it'll hold it because there's space at the top up here so if something's like too tall it'll still close because there's like you know space right there for your stuff to fit all right, girl, let's go. Well, I'll be back. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye. Okay, it's time to go to bed. We are about to take the makeup off. Also, are we are we still liking the wall? Y'all let me know what to do with the mirrors. I mean, they're right there. And then I was thinking about putting like some clear shelves because I still have some that I haven't hung up. Clear shelves like going like boom maybe like two rows and put hair products or yeah hair products because this is my hair bathroom <laughs> um i don't know just give me ideas give me ideas but we are about to take this face off i did so good with my makeup today i feel like my skin is just looking really really good with the maybelline i use that again the maybelline um skin tint and it just it's been looking good it has been looking good and these lashes have been everything so i'm gonna take each one off and i'm gonna reuse them before going in with some new ones this is my second time <clears throat> second time using these so I'm just going to take them off one, one by one and putting them in order on this napkin so whenever I put them on again, I'll know what order they're in. But yeah, it's so much easier. Well, they're easy to apply, but I feel like they look better with mascara. Like putting the mascara on before, putting mascara on my real lashes before sticking the falsies on under my lashes. But all right, we got them off. I'm going to set these to the side. And I have a, um, I have a new cleansing balm I want to try. I did a haul with Beauty Pie 
and I've been wanting to try out a few of their products. Well, I've already been using some of their products, but I haven't used all of them. And one of them <clears throat> that I'm going to try for the first time tonight is the Cleansing Balm. The Super Healthy Skin Hot Oil Double Cleansing Balm. So we're going to use this and see if we like it and then all the other products that i'm using are products that i have been that i've already been using for my routine um i don't like to switch up skincare products too often i just like to stick to um the products i'm using before you know kind of use up the products i'm using before going into new products and if i'm gonna use new products i incorporate them into the routine slowly but surely like gradually like the skin cleansing balm we're gonna use this today Ooh, this is creamy i think maybe about this size this amount this would be good and we're gonna take it and rub it in i wonder does it like really oh it does Actually feels warm when you rub it in because it does say hot what does it say hot oil cleanser I'm like does it really get hot but it does I feel like warmth coming from it so yeah I'm gonna rub it all over There's no smell either. I feel like I need a little bit more. That's better. And then it says to slowly add water. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a gentle cleanser. This is the new company, Barrier Culture Cleanser. And I'm just gonna take a couple squirts on my hand. And I'll just rub it in. This is just kind of get whatever's left over on the face off. almost clean now I'm taking my dose of color sponge cleansing sponge wetting it and now I'm taking my Tata Harper clarifying cleanser to like really get up in there to clean But yeah, for it to be my first time trying out this cleansing balm, I actually really, really, really like it. Um, I have a full haul on my channel. If y'all missed it, I hauled a ton of products from Beauty Pie. There is some skincare on there. It's makeup on there. It's nail care. Um, all the things. So check out that haul if you missed it. And now I'm going to take some of my Ola, Ola, Ola. Comment down below if you have a hard time saying this this name, cause I, I I feel like I'm always 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 butchering it. Ula is it Ula or Ola? I'm gonna say Ula. Ula Henry Skin Dark Spot Toner. Shake it up. Put some on my little Shiseido cotton. And rub it on the skin. I'm running out of these. Every time I share these in a Sephora haul, people comment saying that I can find them cheaper at 
um, Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And the thing is, they just never be in mine. <laughs> like, <laughs> they don't ever be in my Marshalls or my TJ Maxx. They just be gone, girl. So, I mean, I get it. I definitely will buy them from there since they are cheaper, but they just don't be in my stores. So I just be getting them from Sephora every time Sephora has a sale. But, all right. Mm -mm. Skin is looking good. Our little friend here is coming to play, is coming to the surface. So I got this stuff. Uh, to see if I can tackle it, tackle the spots from the breakout. This is the Hero Lightning One Dark Spot Brightening Serum. So I got this when I went in Ulta the other day. And what you do is you just apply it on your dark spots. I'm gonna apply it from right here. I like that it's a roller ball because you can just spot treat skin with it now I don't know if this thing gonna work for real for real but she was real cute sitting up on the shelf and you know I said it was for dark spots so I was sold I was sold And I just let it sit on the skin. Or, and you want to make sure when you're using this, make sure your skin is clean because it is a rollerball. You know, and germs can get up in there. And, you know, so make sure your, your skin is clean before using that. Fan my face some, let it dry down a little bit. So when this dries down, it kind of feels sticky on the face. That's how I know this dries. So it's starting to feel a little sticky. And then I just go over my entire face with a night cream. This Naturium Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. I got this recently. And I use it once. It's pretty thick, like really thick. I take a little scoop, about that much. If you've ever tried the Glossier, Glossier um, moisturizer, it comes in a green little container with a pink top. It's kind of like this, but this is just an overnight cream. I take some on my hands too, especially when I feel like I put too much on. I'm just gonna rub it in. No eye cream because I didn't bring any in here. Um, but I do like to wear eye cream too. But we're just keeping it simple tonight. Good night. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday. Sunday fun day. It's really not Sunday fun day here. Well, actually, it's going to be a good Sunday. I'm excited for today. Um, Robert and I have a meeting to go to, so... Um, and I already put my makeup on. I just put on a little bit of concealer and a little bit of bronzer. And I have on the same mask uh, lashes that I've been telling y'all about. That I've been obsessed with, y'all. I have been obsessed with. So I have about two hours to spare. But I want to just kind of eat a little something something. I'm not really hungry. But I also need to just put something in me. Um, so I'm going to show y'all this little, this little, little, what is Flying around in here. I thought now would be like the perfect time to show y'all my current favorite snack. But yeah, it's a cucumber salad. But the thing is, I ran out of most of my freaking ingredients. All I have now is just, I have just cucumbers left. So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. Um, I usually put cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, um, sometimes onions in it. Um, and there's other things you can put in a cucumber salad, but mine just be very... Jane but it's the sauce it's the sauce that I make that just has me so hooked on eating a cucumber salad so let me show you oh I forgot I still have some seafood salad in here girl we need to clean out this refrigerator 
I am still putting it off. We need to clean it out. We don't clean it out in the next vlog. But y'all, okay. So the sauce isn't homemade. I just kind of rigged something up, but it tastes so good. I think I told y'all about this. I think I have. The balsamic vinaigrette mixed with Chick-fil-A sauce. Y'all together, these make the perfect, perfect, perfect salad dressing. It is so, so, so good. I put Chick-fil-A sauce on everything. I put it on my salmon. It, ugh, it's just so freaking good. Fries, tater tots, chicken, you name it, I put it on there. But this together, this mixture together, and then I put like a little bit of pepper, salt. I'm gonna show you. But this is all I have left, y'all. I just have three baby cucumbers left. Because I ran out of my tomato, I ran out of my avocado, I ran out of all of that. But just eating this with the sauce is still good. I'm gonna do, I might as well just do the rest of these. And whatever I don't eat, I'll just put it in the refrigerator. Yeah, if you're wanting something really quick, light, like this is really light, then try this. Let me wash these. Even if you don't, you know, feel too hungry, but you need to put something in your system. Cucumber salad is the way to go if you love cucumbers. Because I love, love, love cucumbers. Okay, let me show you how I mix the sauce. I'm going to put my cucumbers in here. I'm going to put the sauce in here and mix it up. Rinse this out. So what you'll need, cooking with Andrea. <laughs> Girl, we ain't even cooking. We're just making a little snack. What you'll need is your bowl, a little side bowl to mix your sauces together, cucumbers, and then whatever other ingredients that you would prefer to put in your salad. So if you want to put tomato in there, onions, uh, I've seen people put corn in there, avocado. I don't measure anything. I just measure it in my head. Now this was my first time trying this one. I usually get the one from Target. I think it's Good and Gather. The brand is Good and Gather. But this one's pretty good. It's pretty sweet though. And it does say sweet on it. <laughs> but it was the only one that they had in the store when I was in the store at the time. And I needed some more of this dressing. But I just take a little squirt of it. Mm, about, mm, mm. Since I'm doing three cucumbers, I'll do four squirts. Four squirts of that. And then I take the Chick-fil-A sauce, give it a good shake. And I take one good squirt of this, just one good squirt. And if you need to do more, you can do more. Just mix it and taste it as you go. Getting some pepper and salt. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the black pepper and then I'm taking the Himalayan pink salt to go in it. I'm gonna get me a spoon. So I just grabbed a plastic fork. I'm gonna mix this together first and taste it. See if I need to put any more sauce. Okay, I need some more balsamic vinaigrette. Just a little bit. This gives it that tanginess. That tang, that twang. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, that's perfect. Now we're gonna add a little bit of pepper. Just maybe a, a shake or two, one, two. Let's do three, three. And a little bit of the Himalayan pink salt. Just a tiny shake of it, tiny bit, because I don't like it to be salty, but I do like it, just like it to have that, that you know, that taste. So mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, yeah. mix it, mix it, mix it real good, and then we taste it. Perfect, perfect. I'm telling you, try that mixture. Try it you try it come back to this video and let me know your thoughts let me know let me know let me know I'm just gonna chop these up I don't like to eat 
the ends. And I prefer to use these instead of the big cucumbers. Something about the baby cucumbers, like they have that, that crisp, but that, I don't know, girl. I don't know. If you know, you know, but I can't explain it. So I'm gonna sit here and eat this. I feel like I don't even need to, yeah, I can eat all of this in one setting. It's just so bare, like I need some tomatoes. I need some, some, some avocado something, but that's all I got for now. So I just take the dressing, but I just take it and pour it in there. Was just enough. And boom. Let me get a better fork so it can be aesthetic. And that is what I like to call my cucumber salad with my not so much homemade dressing, but kind of sort of homemade dressing. <laughs> Girl, okay, I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm gonna get dressed and I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because I'm not gonna vlog um, anymore today. But y'all, we have a busy week ahead. A busy week ahead. Girl, I gotta find a freaking outfit for the Beyonce concert. I have one outfit done, I think, because I'm going to two. And I'll tell y'all more about that um in the next vlog but oh my gosh two different cities by the way two different cities but anyway i have to find a freaking outfit i have my shoes i just need and i think i have my bottoms for both i just need a top i need to get one more top but we're going to the mall this week okay we're going to the mall we're gonna go to the salon to get these soaked off i didn't even tell y'all i didn't even Hold on, let's go to the couch, girl, so I can eat. I didn't tell y'all that I got my nails done when I was in Florida. I got, no, 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 this isn't for you. No, baby, no, no, baby. I know it, I know it. You don't want this. This is not kibbles and bits, okay? This is not it. What a remote at, girl. Where is the remote? I didn't tell y'all that I got my nails done in Florida and I was not planning to get them done. Hold on. What you doing? Move. Why you just can't be calm, cool, and collected like Callie? Why you just gotta be all over the place? Come here. Sit. Right there. Sit down. No, 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 no. Sit. Thank you. I'm gonna sit down here. Uh-uh, sit over there, sit down. I didn't tell y'all that I got my nails done and I told myself I wasn't gonna get my nails done anymore, but Ashley wanted to get her nails done. And I figured I'd get my nails done too while I was there with her. So I got my nails done and it's time for the, like it is time, it's time for a fill in, but I'm not gonna get a fill in. I just wanna go and get these soaked off. So we're gonna go to the nail salon this week just to get them soaked off. And then I'm gonna put my press ons back on because I am team press on right now. Um, But what else we're gonna do this week? We're gonna go to the mall. Hopefully I can find a top. Um, Then we're gonna go, hold on. And then we're gonna go um, to get my nails soaked off. And then we're gonna take the hair down, y'all. We're gonna take the braids down, finally, because I have that wig that I showed y'all earlier in the vlog that I'm gonna be wearing to the, con um, to the concert. So, I wanna get my hair braided in cornrows I'm just gonna go to the lady I've been going to and just um, have her braid my hair in cornrows. And then I gotta bleach the knots on that wig though. 
So I got to do that this week too. I got a lot I got to do this week because um, I'm traveling next week. So we got to get it done this week, girl. And there was something else I have to do this week besides pre-film videos. It was something else. Y'all have to try this dressing. I'm telling you, you have to try it. You have to try it. It is delicious. So I'm gonna sit here and finish up my cucumber. I'm gonna watch. Did I tell y'all that I started watching Insecure? So I'm gonna watch that. And then I'm gonna go upstairs, change clothes, and then we're gonna head out the door. It's supposed to rain all day today. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here so thank you all for hanging out with me this week and last week i think it was mostly this week well we were just hanging out in the house but thank y'all for hanging out and i'll see y'all next week well this week because i have video going up in the middle of the week but i will see y'all later on this week <laughs>